All right, so we reached the uh, second half of the journey of my hitch installation. Uh, so now we're doing the actual hitch itself. Um, what you have to do for sure is you have to remove the exhaust tainter. I already went and did that. It wasn't hard. Uh, everyone says, oh, uh, undo the tainter first and then do the two screws. Um, no, it's it's a lot easier just to undo the two screws that hold the hanger on and then you can flop it down towards you on the ground and then you can just work it out of this boot and then this this won't fall down on you because it's it's mounted in a, in a few other places and it's not going to twi twist and bop you in the face or anything. That's totally cool. Um, and then I went on that side, I sanded the entire surface, and then I threw some primer on it because I don't want it rusting. Um, and then once I get this hitch on, I'll do something to further rust proof it a little bit more. Um, the side I'll tackle in just a little bit. Uh, so after you get the hanger off, you're supposed to take uh, this weird wire, and at the end of the wire, there's a, a pigtail. No spring shape uh, so it matches the threads perfectly of these, of these carriage bolts and with these carriage bolts once once you got the carriage bolt around or inside that spring you need to take um, whichever uh, square block spacer here you're supposed to use uh, you don't want to mix, the, mix these up everyone has its own special purpose so you're supposed to take the one you need put it um, you know, down the wire and then essentially when you let all that go on the wire you'll still have this attached to, to the wires like I have here and here. And those are the only two places you need to do it on the 2008 Taurus X. Uh, I think in the manual it said if you had a 2009 you don't even have to do this nonsense you just run two screws up into it. Um, so you have to run the wire uh, and the bolts through that access hole. Uh, so what was easiest was, uh, pretty much how I did it was first I took the wire with the spring end on it, took the wire by itself through the holes I needed so I could grab the big end through the access hole. So I figured it would be easier and it totally was. So then I brought the access, I grab the, the the springy end, hold it through the access hole, and then I kept this hanging through that hole. You do not want to lose this up in there, otherwise you have to start over. Uh, so once I got the springy end down here, that's when you attach uh, your block and then your then your carriage bolt, and then you have to fight those in there one at a time. So uh, with your block on the on the string. You have to work it through that hole, and then once your block is past that hole, you can take your carriage bolt and fight that through that hole, and then just gently pull on the string and they'll both come together perfectly right through this hole. And then you need to leave the string on here until you're fully done assembling the hitch. Because um, otherwise when you try putting the, the hitch up in there, you're going to push that bolt up through the hole and it'll be gone for forever until you go back and redo it right. So there's pretty much that for that side. And like I said, this is only on the driver's side. On the passenger side, they, they threaded some, uh, some bolt holes for you. So you just run some screws up in there and... But I think, again, uh, in, the, in the manual, I, I think it said that 2009 models uh, switched to threaded screw holes here, too, to make it easier for insulation. But I don't know. You'd have to uh, know which vehicle you have, and you'd have to read your manual carefully. So I'll pause the video, and then I'll see if I'm able to uh, get the hitch in uh, by my loans himself. I already jacked up the car. By my loans himself so yeah try working the hitch up in there in just a jiffy so we'll catch you back with that <laughs> 